hello me and hello everyone else that's watching this maybe someday um this is my first entry into this um into this series i i know it might be a little bit cheesy or something but it's something that i told myself i would do and instead of ignoring that fact and ignoring um all of my <laughs> plans I am going to actually follow through on this one. So, um, first off, I'll just let you guys know what's going on here. Just a little context. I am going to be doing a weekly vlog um, focusing on my progress writing my first novel. I have never done this before. I've never done any YouTube videos. I've never written a novel, and the fact that I am trying to start both at once is a bit of an undertaking, but um, it's not like I am going to be Mr. Beast in uh, one day. So, that being said, um, if you're just one person and you're interested in um, starting your own novel or... Um, or if you're just looking for something to listen to or watch just on your own time just for fun or if you want to support me and my journey then uh, just enjoy um, I'm here for you and for myself so I can um, go back in the future and just look back on where I started because I know that I am going to need it someday. So, all that out of the way, I told myself I was going to do this from day one, or after week one, I should say, of writing my book. And technically, I haven't failed on that yet because I have not successfully written anything down. Um, I know this sounds like very dumb and like I'm already failing and trust me I tell myself that an unhealthy amount <laughs> but I have been uh, studying writing material I have been working on finding um, unique and genre like on theme inspiration and material for me to sort of um, work off of as like a starting point. I have been listening to this one podcast called um, the Rebel Authors Podcast and um, that's helping me a lot um, learning um, the different ways that certain authors write and understanding that there's not one correct way to do it. Everyone has their own way because everybody's different, right? And, um, and yeah, just learning that it's okay to be me and know that my shortcomings don't have to stop me from doing it. And like I've felt in the past, you know, I've attempted or like thought of attempting this for many many years but um this is the furthest I've gotten <laughs> um yeah so I have many ideas written down I have a whole notes page in google docs that's just a starting starting point because I've heard there's a lot of different websites and app applications software you can use to um, write with different um, what are they called writing word word processors and a lot of different word processors to use and some are better than others but um, seeing as I'm just starting out and I'm not a professional yet I'm making any money I'm not doing it for the money this is just a, a personal goal but if I do make money, I would like to put that towards um, my next book because I want to make this a series. 
I want to do this for as long as I can because this is something that I have dreamt of doing and it's something that I plan on doing for a long time. So, yeah, um, I have a lot of ideas. Uh, just a little insider, I'm planning on uh, making it a dark fantasy genre series. So I have been listening to an audiobook version of Prince of Thorns by um, Mark Lawrence, and it is very dark. Um, mm -hmm. I, I guess I didn't really know what I was getting into, mm -hmm. but um, I'm excited because one of my favorite series um, of media is uh, Berserk by uh, Kentaro Miura. Uh, it's a manga, but... Um, I'm no good at uh, drawing, so um, I'm just going to stick to writing because a little bit of background information on me. Um, I started writing when I was probably in junior high. Um, I was going through a lot of um, emotional turmoil, which, like, who isn't at that age? But... Um, yeah, I just wanted, I needed a creative outlet to um, express myself, which I think everyone should have that. Um, and I learned that um, somewhere in my lineage, like my uh, family tree, my ancestors were um, like palace guards and poets. So I started writing really edgy, crappy poetry and I still do sometimes, but, um, uh, and I just thought that I could do this on a larger scale. And reading books had always been one of my, um, one of my passions. Like, I, I read books. I, I liked to think of myself as an escapist, like a, a massive fan and um, consumer of escapism just anything that would get me out of my own mind and put me into a world that was so unreal that I didn't have to think about the world around me um, that sounds kind of depressing and unhealthy but um, uh, I I was diagnosed with um, depression and ang and social anxiety, so um, it's something that uh, really helped me at that time. And um, I have, but since I've gone through all of that turmoil and learned from it and grown as a person, I haven't really needed that um, outlet, and so I've just. At some point, I started just collecting books and collecting more and more books that I wanted to read and reading less and less of them. So um, that's another, th another thing that I'm trying to do in the process of writing this book is um, learning how to enjoy reading again. Because another thing is that um, I think high school and college um, really killed my passion for reading and in the sense that it forced me to read things that I wasn't interested in and I, I think I subconsciously um, l thought or learned that um, reading was tied to like an unpleasant feeling so I just stopped and um, but that's not something I want to continue doing because reading is such a wonderful and um, informative way to like fill your time. And I, I'm at a point in my life where all the time that I have that is filled is just filled with mind-numbing, unintelligent things. And... I don't want to be that person. I always thought that I was capable of being intelligent and being um, creative and 
just this better version of myself that I haven't felt like is who I am now. And, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of background information on me and, um, and my journey up until now, um, I've gotten a lot of inspiration from Patrick Rothfuss, um, Robin Hobb, uh, Kentaro Miura, and um, I want to make something that feels unique and genuine. I know that um, whatever I write first is not going to be what I want it to be necessarily, but it will be something my, that is my own, and I think that that is more than enough. Um, and I think that that's a good lesson for everyone, is when you first get started doing anything, obviously you're not going to be perfect or successful at it right away necessarily. Um, some people are more gifted than others, or just more um, just cleaner writers, but not necessarily like perfect. And others are going to have a longer, um, more difficult journey, but that doesn't make you any lesser, and that doesn't make your quality of writing any less um, important. Your first material will not be your best, and I think that that is a great lesson to learn. I learned that um, through the podcast I was listening to, and almost every author on that podcast said that um, y your first work is not going to be your best, and you have to keep writing and keep practicing, just like riding a bike or cooking or anything that takes practice. Practice makes perfect, and... Um, you just have to aim to um, improve, just improve. And that's what I'm here to do is this is my, the beginning of my journey right here in this video. And um, I hope that you stick around to um, find out how that journey goes. Um, thank you for watching if you're watching and <laughs> like and subscribe. I have never said that before, but that is something I'm probably going to have to say again. Um, and thank you all. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and I hope this brought you some joy or some insight or something. Something positive came out of this for you. <laughs> all right. Um, I'll see you next time. Peace.